and that is Kansas City Chiefs quarterback Patrick Mahomes. He threw it to Drew Buteri. You had a chance to visit with Patrick. I did, and, and I was there when Drew met Patrick, and Patrick said, hey, look, I could throw 95, but it'll, it'll probably hit the backstop. I think I'll just give you a nice, easy pitch. I don't know if you remember you and I broadcasting his dad's game when he was with the Minnesota Twins. Well, sure, and I think I had a couple of bats off of his dad, if I'm not mistaken. I think you did. Travis Kelsey, Cleveland Heights native, and a world champion with the Kansas City Chiefs. And he's going out with his mom to throw out the <laughs> ceremonial first pitch. How great is that? That's terrific. I mean, she was a big part of it in the Super Bowl when he had a brother. She's got two boys, one yep. on each team. That's never happened before. That was something very special. All right, here we go. Big man. Tell you what, this guy, athletic, one of the best tight ends in the NFL before it's all said and done, might go down as the best of all time. You can't cover the guy. Now let's see if he can throw a strike. Hopefully Patrick Mahomes gave him a few lessons <laughs> before today's game. Here we go. Oh. <laughs> he ran up. He better not hit Bieber. He would have been in trouble. Might have been a little over uh, I, I think so. You got to put a little air underneath that pitch, but he almost one hopped him. Oh, man. <laughs> Here with Lamar Jackson, how different is that than throwing a football? Um, definitely di um, a lot different. You know, the ball smaller. You know, it's a pitch game with the football, so it's totally different. What do you think of the guys in the clubhouse? You just saw them on TV a minute yeah. earlier and told me they were good guys. Yeah, they're pretty dope. You know, full of energy. So yeah. <laughs> no score as you take a look at the Purdies, Jenna, and Brock. Brock threw out the first pitch. They had it on the gun pretty high too. Well, he hummed it right by Kyle Harrison, who never got his glove up in time. This is what Mike's talking about the the first pitch. Hey, I mean, look, he's, he brought his glove. That's a pass ball. I'm sorry. You got to make a play. <laughs> first pitch. The newest Bears defensive back Jonathan Owens throwing it out. That's a strike. He got it there. I mean, it was certainly in the neighborhood. And his wife, one of the. Best gymnast of all time, Simone Biles, cheering on her husband. This was just before the game. That's a two time All American. Blake Corum throwing an absolute seed for a strike during the ceremonial first pitch. Uh, it was a thing of beauty. Thanks for being with us today. And how was the first pitch experience for you? Nah, thanks for having me. It was great. You know, I look back at it and I just wanted to get it down the pipe. Uh, but looking back, you know, I wish I brought a little more heat. You know, I had, I had a little more, you know. I, Looked at my arsenal. I was like, do I want to throw a curveball, a knuckle? Yeah. But I just threw my two-seam fastball, and uh, it, was, it went right down the pipe. Hey, man, we can't argue with that. Let's take a look at what you got on your hands. Luckily, you weren't throwing with that hand. Huh? Uh, yeah, lucky I wasn't throwing with this one. I figured I'd put them on today. Uh, yeah. These are just two Big Ten rings, and we got four more coming in on the 20th uh, spring game. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to see those. Jason Kelsey and Fletcher Cox both announcing their retirement recently. Jason with a very emotional press conference. Fletcher with a beautiful letter. We've got Kyle Schwarber and Bryce Harper coming out to catch the ceremonial first pitch. I hope they don't cross it up. Kelsey let it fly yeah, a little bit. Yeah, nice sink to it, too. It sure did. That may be a nice collectible item at some point. Would, would you have ever thought to do that? Bryce just did Fletcher. He just did Fletcher's dad's. Well, that was cool. That's a cool moment for the fans here in Philadelphia. The same for uh, for Jason and Fletcher. Part of the festivities, Gronk was out there to throw out the ceremonial first pitch. This is what it looked like. Not exactly throwing the first pitch. Great hand for one of the great tight ends of all time, and he spiked it. <laughs> So I don't think it counts as a pitch, but we're underway. I think it's a balk. Great hand for Gronk here today. We will now invite our four-time Super Bowl champion, Tom Brady, to throw the ceremonial first pitch to our three-time World Series champion, David Ortiz. Tom Brady on the mound. He's going from the rubber, and he bounced it up there in the batter's box. The better quarterback than a pitcher. Bounced it into the uh, left-hand batter's box. Did Brady as Tom Brady meets David Ortiz, and they shake hands. Ortiz going out to meet with Bill Belichick, Jonathan Kraft, and Robert Kraft. To be fair, Brady was a catcher coming up. He was not a pitcher. So he can't be asked to throw a strike, but he did. He pitched from the mound, which you look for. Eli Manning threw out the first pitch today here at Yankee Stadium, and we'll let Joe Girardi break it down for the people. 
So what happens if you throw a high uh, pass, you know, to a receiver? I mean, does he get lit up or he, does he, he get could. picked off? He could, but you know, Joe, you know now in baseball, everybody's trying to hit the home run. They can't hit the high heat anymore. <laughs> that's like the pitch. So that's what you've been practicing. I've been, I was told to throw high heat. That was that's what I was, you know, got a little, uh, you know, a little away from me. Scoreless as we head to the bottom of the second inning, you're watching Russell Wilson throw out the first pitch before the game today. Such an exciting day here in Denver. It has been electric. Top two picks for the Cleveland Browns in the NFL draft. Baker Mayfield and Denzel Ward. Baker Mayfield of course the number one pick overall out of the University of Oklahoma. And Denzel Ward what a thrill for him. Grew up just down the road in Macedonia went to Nordonia High School leading the Knights to a high school football playoff run a few years back in 2014 they got to the state championship game and of course a big thrill for him not to grow up here but to play at Ohio State and then to be drafted by the Cleveland Browns. Let's see how they do Arch. Oh they'll be just fine. Oh. <laughs> Short up and uh, that's fine. They both were caught. Ladies and gentlemen. Please welcome to throw out tonight's ceremonial first pitch, Bronx native number 26, Saquon Barkley. It's all in the legs, Paul. Check out the legs. Well, I know one thing. He's got a set on him. Look at those. He's a thick fella. I'd, like, I'd rather try to hit him than tackle him. Oh, come on, Sid. <laughs> Pick it for him. Wow. Big time running back. People also are thinking football today with the city of Houston being awarded the 2017 Super Bowl and also here throwing out the first pitch tonight the Texans first round draft choice DeAndre Hopkins. He'll be on the receiving end but tonight he gets to toss one out and he is with Layla Rahimi behind home plate right now Layla. Well thanks very much Bill and DeAndre Hopkins. What was it like for you to throw out the first pitch because you said you were a little bit nervous going in. Oh it was it was great you know just being out here in front of this crowd and, and just the, the great environment that that this that this stadium holds you know it was it was great just coming out here and, and throwing the first pitch. Calais Campbell Patrick Peterson Darnell Dockett you, you guys had the chance to get out there and throw the pitch I saw you talking to talking to Kirk Gibson did you prepare at all for that pitch. Uh, definitely wasn't prepared but it's something I something I'm used to doing so I'm a, I'm a pretty good athlete so I had to warm up the arm and put it right down the pipe. <laughs> 